And we're back. Alright, so we've once again reloaded our save game so that we can come back here because we've been unable to locate the mist book in the world that we entered. Before we go to Channelwood, do we want to quickly just go through the book and then write down any and all shapes and symbols we see in the, all the, the books? All of the books? Because there is right. times where he's like, I'll mention this in another journal kind of thing, right? Alright, let's go through the Channelwood book. Looking for any kinds of pictures. Okay, that's a map. A diagram of a house. I think that's it for this one. Yeah. Alright. Uh, take a look at this one. Because, like, Boat, submersible, submersible lamp. lamp. There's but, the top of the lighthouse. But we saw the black flag insignia on the cloth drawer in the boat world, and we got the insignia Indeed. from the book on the gear world kind of thing. Right. Constellations. Yeah. That's it for that book. Thermal generator. Invisible ink. Yeah. Compass and satellites. Spaceship. Keyboard. Craters. This one shows us the rooms. Yeah. Deal. What are those lines there, right? Do you notice the lines? Yeah. Are they like measurements, maybe? I don't know. Do they mean something? And then, of course, there's this thing pointing to this room here, which has no apparent door. Maybe it's only accessible from the elevator. Mm, possibly. Yeah, and then there's that, which is... Just a picture of the island. And all the tracks. Signal the black ship. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. And that's it. Okay. I mean, except for fireplace book. Weird fireplace codes that we have no idea what they do. Uh, we'll deal with that later. For now, we're gonna go to channel. We gotta lift the trees, light the matches. <sighs> that's a little tedious. Oh, it's already late. We just gotta like crank it out. Shift it up to full power here. Mm -hmm. Let it shoot up a couple times and run over there. Right, that should be sufficient. Remember, we gotta let it go up. And then. Yep. I'm just I don't hear it moving. I think it's going slowly. I think you gotta crank it more. Uh, thought I cranked it a fair bit. But... We'll turn it up even more. Then. the needle. Every time it reaches full it resets. And so... Oh, I see. Alright, now we need to crank this down. Right? Yeah. Let that keep turning itself. Why can't I walk in that direction? It just <laughs> it, it's 
you gotta click in between the trees. In between the trees. You're clicking on the tree, not in between. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Unless it went back up. Because the wheel kept turning. <laughs> Even though I was turning the wheel down and it kept turning down. Alright. No, it seems it turned up. Yeah, apparently. Spooky wheel. We're gonna make sure this thing's totally off. Okay, so after we get to Channel Wood, we're just gonna write everything that's ever in Channel Wood down, and we're not going back to Channel Wood. Yeah, really, we want to check out that. Oh, oh no, no, Oops, no! See, no. you're doing it again. <laughs> I'm not doing anything actually. Look, ma, no hands. Then how come it worked before? Did we just get into Channel Wood on a complete glitch? Can you like fight it and stop it? I don't think it's gonna stop auto turning until it hits maximum. I'm just gonna like turn it one turn at a time, <laughs> all the way down. Huh. This is different from before now. It keeps rotating back. On. <laughs> and I try and turn it down. And it refuses. This is a glitch? Or is this how it's supposed to be, but because it was like all weird last time, we just kind of cheesed it. I don't know. Well, it won't come down if it's going to keep turning on. Stop that. Steve your wheel. Hmm. Well. I guess we're not going into channel wood. <laughs> Is this a reload last save kind of deal? I hate to do it, but is it glitched? <laughs> I'm not sure what choice we have here. <laughs> I, I don't think the puzzle would change. I think it's actually like some weird thing glitched out. Don't save. I mean, we've had our share of glitches for sure. Yeah, mm. it's you can tell it's loading because of the lag noises. It's just rewinding all of the turning, <laughs> uncranking. <laughs> it's the uh, the sound of the van of plumbers coming out to fix the weird pipe and the pressure valve. Alright. Alright, here's the plan. We're not going to crank it onto full blast this time. Yeah, just let it go slowly, hop in it, and then just hit the thing to release the pressure. Try to turn it down when it was already down. Oh, and I dear. think it crashed the game. 
Yep. Yeah, the game the game crashed. Um All right, well, <laughs> let, let's uh let's do that oh. again. Wow. That's the only problem with running like 1995 or what year? 1998. 93. 93. Yeah, it's like 93, I believe. I think you just started a new game. Oh, I did. That's fine. I can just I can reload save. Mode. File, restore game. Don't save this one. All right. Fingers crossed, no whammies. It's gonna lag up for a bit. Usual. But it'll load. Hmm. So it seems your compatibility fix lets us actually play the game now because we can see cutscenes. But it's glitchy. <laughs> like it, it's gotten rid of some like game breaking glitches and introduced other like glitches. Yeah. Well, I guess it's never going to be fully compatible. Unless that's not a glitch, I don't know. Yeah. I, I if, don't... if that's the, like, the intent of the thing, it just was a glitch. All I know is I really want to play this game, but it's the game is making it very <laughs> hard for me to do so. Mist does not simply let people play it. One does not simply play Mist. Okay. Well, let's go, lo let's go take a look at the tree. Pretty sure it's yeah. I'm pretty sure it's down, down but yeah. we're we're gonna look. Yeah, it's all the way down. Yeah. Okay. You can watch the pressure gauge because once it goes up, it'll go off. I don't want to like risk <laughs> turning it up much higher and having it like blow up in our face. Yeah. yeah. This also gives us more time to get off the thing. So you know what? We can go like way outside. I think it's only like two or three pump ups. We'll just we'll just wait. This could take a couple minutes. Is it working? It should be working. Should be. Any second now. Uh, let's go back and check. Alright, I'll go look. Just let it hear it go up once and then go from there. It didn't go up. Ah! Yeah, you have to go back out of that scene, I think, for it to actually like, do anything. See, like, if we yeah. watch it here, it should just keep going. Okay, I'll quickly run to the tree before right. it gets too far up there. Yeah, now I'm not sure if we can actually make the tree go all the way underground without turning the pressure back down, or... Because I know there's the button, but I don't know if the button will go below ground level, you know what I mean? Like, I think it might just bring us back down to here. No. I'm wondering if the tree actually moves. It does move. Okay. So once this goes up one more, we'll jump inside and try pressing the button. If it doesn't work, we'll have to run back inside, turn the thing down. Hopefully it works. And then we'll have to run back outside, hop in the thing, before it disappears. Yeah, 
see, it just keeps bringing us there. So we are going to need to turn the pressure back down. I'm going to let it click up. It almost doesn't want it. Pressure's going down. All right, we're good. We should be able to do this now. Wait for this thing to drop back down, hop on in. And then we're going to go to Channelwood and play with interesting looking devices sitting on top of someone's dresser. I guess we just have to wait. Maybe I should have turned the pressure down a bit more. <laughs> Would have gone a little quicker. Watch, we're stuck here. Yeah. We have to send a fire department to rescue us. <laughs> Why are you in like this weird tree elevator thing on the side with the pressure button? Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sir and or ma'am stay on the line. <laughs> we'll just like slide out of there. It's a book. One more. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. Spooky music. Too spooky for me. Look at that fly around. It's super cool. It's a lot of trees, but apparently if you keep going to the right, the trees just stop. The trees stop all the way around. <laughs> I guess that's because of the water, right? Yep. Maybe it's just like the one area where... Alright, let's do this. Wind powered water pumping turbine. Renewable energy. What is renewable energy? Alright, let's take a look around here. We should all just like run right up the staircase. Yeah, we need to get to the third floor though, so that requires us to go up the staircase. And then take the elevator, correct? Yeah. The elevator is right, right beside there. the staircase, yeah. The elevator is not plugged in. I guess it's not plugged in. Damn it. Probably because I had the mist. Mist portal plugged in, yep. The mist portal. So I need to power this sucker here, right? Yeah. Oh, it should well, just be that easy. one, like, right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's all you have to do is flip that all the way back out. Ah. Oh, we can actually see it move! That's intense! Last time it was just like... It, oh, nothing oh, changed, there. and we're like, wait, are we on another floor? Oh yeah, we are! I was, I'd, or I'd like double tap the lever and nothing would happen. <laughs> so we, now we uh, have visual confirmations of our puzzle. We, we actually like, understand that things are happening. Okay, so let's go in here. This is like the regal looking one. Yeah, this is where we found the red page, right? Yeah. Like in that drawer. Yep. There's our little half note. With a little knife. A sacrificial dagger kind of thing. A sink with no faucet and a toothbrush. Oh, the windmill's moving too. Yeah. Nifty. There we go. Alright, on the lookout for symbols. Someone didn't finish their pie. Or moldy cheese. Moldy cheese. Yeah, well, there's bottles of wine. Could be cheese. Probably cheese. 
All right, let's uh, let's go to the other house. Oh wait, was that a door? Why? Well, I, I that's what I was thinking, but where would it lead? Right? Yeah, that's true. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, there's not exactly like anywhere to go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess that's it for over there. I hope I pushed the right button, my dear brother. What a very interesting device you have here. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> Remember, he is prepared. Take only one page, my dear brother. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a little murder machine. Okay. I think those are buttons. I think it just does it. No, they're definitely buttons. It's like clicking here and there. What about clicking the actual like thing? Um. I think you just have to click the top surface of it. Okay, well. It said take one page. Um. Yeah, we took. So this is new and cool, interesting, spooky stuff. Okay, let's continue our anyway. Maybe we should start from the first one. Okay. I don't speak that language. This is unhelpful. I mean, it's fascinating. I just do not understand anything that's happening. I hope I pushed the right button, my dear brother. What a very interesting device you have here. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> Remember, he is prepared. Take only one page, my dear brother. That was a note from the other brother to this brother to take one page, and we found a page here. We took both the pages. Yeah, but maybe. Is he referring to us? Like, are we the other brother? Or like, because this is, I can assume, the other brother's room, right? And then that guy pushed this button in there. Am I interrupting anything? Ha ha ha, kind of stuff. Take only one page and we found a page in here. The page is clearly from those books back in the midst. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, was there anything on the second floor? Because I feel like there was a room or something on the second floor. Mm, just that weird switch that we had issues with. Um, Everything else on the second floor was like abandoned little monkey huts. Yeah, and this has nothing to do. There's probably some stuff in the ship world too that. Yeah. 
that weird thing that we keep hitting the button and it makes noises and then it goes away. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we can revisit the ship world? Now, yep. that, now that things work. Put gear world on hold, maybe? Or ship world? Maybe, because we kind of, like, that was the second world we went to, right? Yeah. So maybe we should... We kind of gave up, though, because we thought there was... I guess we're, like, lucky we made it through Channel Wind. <laughs> like, maybe, you know, we did Channel Wind, we're all like, yeah, this isn't too bad and everything, and then we just kind of fluked through it. <laughs> like, you know, whoa. Because we didn't have any of those cutscenes or anything. There's a lot of spooky stuff going on there. Right, I need to go we were talking about how it's like mist lets you build your own narrative. No, it doesn't. It just let us build it because we dirt and didn't have a working copy. Wait, did I just get turned uh, around? I think you turned around. Yeah. In your cage. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh. Ooh, it's all spirally. Yeah, let's That's get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty then. going to go... Yeah. Do you want to go back to the ship world? I kind of do. Alright, let's do this. Just because, like, a lot of stuff going on now. Yeah, things happen when you do stuff. Isn't that amazing? I want to go to, like, all those places with random buttons we pushed that didn't do anything. Wait, you want to... No, that does not... No, we still, we still have to figure out <laughs> what to put that do. book into. Yeah, <laughs> or right. put that page into. Let's go deck. Spooksville. Oh, look at that, we get like a whole tour. Yeah. Let's go into Spooksville. It's like, you know, it's... There we go. There's a lot of rocks. Don't see anything that we haven't already seen. Yeah. All right. We're going back here. Hopefully, we can manage to find a mist book this time, so we don't have to reload save to get out. That would be nice. Would yeah. I would uh, <laughs> prefer that. All right. First things first. Let's get the power on. Uh, da, da, da. We have to pump that out. No, no. Turn around. We already did this. Should be unlocked. But the chest isn't there. No, it's locked. That's oh, what? Bizarre. I guess because we reloaded the save, right? Oh, we yeah, we, we haven't, haven't done anything haven't in here. here. That's right. Is that the right one? I think so. Nope. Might have been the middle one. Yeah, one of them was a ship, one of them was a center island, and one of them yeah. Lighthouse. Apparently, the right one's the lighthouse. Yeah. Oh, we actually get to see the water oh, drain! Great. Um, and then I have to reclose it, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> the key for a key is what gets me. Machine on top of the drawer that 
we hit? Inside the thing? Yeah. Alright, well the battery's full. Well, let's see what we pumped out. Did we pump this thing out? No, no, no we no, did not. We pumped the ship out. We pumped the ship out. The ship is still dark. Yeah, I think it's something with that compass in the middle that we had to before. The mist book is probably in there too. Yeah. We just can't see anything. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. Oh yeah, there is a secret tunnel. That's the uh That's the compass. I don't want to touch that compass. Yeah. Once again, two rooms. This is like spooky poison room with the blue page. Oh yeah, device undresser. has like a huge love for murder. It's pretty apparent here. Interesting. I like how this thing just ignores the fact that there's like spokes there. Oh yeah, it just goes right <laughs> through them. Yep. Okay. Orange rose. Skull. Rose skull. Has like a dead guy. Secret shrine of the death god. Yep. Poison. The other guy's got the heroin door. Yeah. I'm just looking for secret passages. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> secret doors anywhere? Nope. Right. Secret door one time. All right, so we're gonna walk up here. We're gonna go through here. Oh yeah, it flashes blue when you hit that button. Yeah. Compass. There's got to be a clue to that compass. Maybe I find it in here with those weird globes that we clicked on before and they just made noise. Maybe they'll do something now. It's a nice bed. Definitely nice over it. I mean, now it's purple blue and he gets angry at us. Illuminati of this game. Black insignia. Red page. All the money. Doubloons. Jewels. That looks like a secret door. Can't open it. Gotta be a switch somewhere to get that.
well, junk drawer, but... Why can we zoom in on this? There has to be a specific reason why we can... Actually, no, because there's a lot of, like, random shit you can stare at. Okay, that's new. That's so useful. What exactly is it? It's bizarre. <laughs> I want it! <laughs> Just like, rotates it around. I thought it was like a perfume bottle or something originally. Well, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thingy that defies a lot of stuff. Okay, well, we know there's things now that we can click that we had no idea what they did before. I still want to know what, like, the purple globes and stuff are. Yeah, I mean, like... It's like the planet globe and the death storm over there. Power's probably gonna run out soon, too. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell was that? It was like when you went to the right side just before you looked away. Other side. I was just like clicking and like. Yeah, you like clicked near the plant over there. Start when you click the corner of that bed. Yeah, I think it just restarts because it ends the loop. It oh, the end it's, yeah. I click off the screen and it and it gives you a hint. What the hell? These hints? Yep. Okay, so go to the telescope, obviously. They want us to go to the telescope. That's what it is. My mind is exploding all over the room right now. This is what happens when you don't read the manual. Yo. Okay. I didn't even know there was a user interface to this game. <laughs> Tunnel to Akinar's bedroom. Tunnel to Sirius' bedroom. I guess now I know who's who. Umbrella Crow's Nest. Stairs to bedroom. Mist book! Okay, well, I guess we gotta go to the telescope. Oh my god. Perhaps it's move. No shit. Alright. Let's, uh... Well, excuse me for thinking this game abandons me in the dark and doesn't give me any clues. Because that's what I thought it did. Same. <laughs> that's how we've been playing it. That's the best way to play <laughs> yeah. it. Until recently, it's been... Okay, well, we're on top of things now. Nice view, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, to find what you seek here, more light must be brought to Find the generator and charge the battery. <laughs> Type. To better. And then return here. Okay, well we've already done that. Yeah, unless it ran out and now it's pissed at us. Yeah, that might have happened too. Interesting. Yeah, it did. <laughs> ah, this is gonna help the flow of the gameplay, I guess. I think we're gonna have to look at the lighthouse. Yeah. In the telescope. It's gonna somehow do something that it didn't do the last time we played it. Play a cutscene where it burns your retinas? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, that's probably what happens. Cause like, it's gotta be something that just didn't work before, right? Yeah, cause like cutscene, like, 
like the buttons that we pushed that just didn't work. Like cutscenes and... Because this is a lot of stuff like we already have done this, it just previously never worked. Oh, no key. A little like snake key. Yeah, it just like magically like floats in the air and like, plugs itself in and opens the lock. It's wizards. The clue says, uh... Under 35 degrees, okay. This <laughs> is so the last one, it just tells you straight up what you need to do. Alright, well, let's take a look at this thing. Oh! <laughs> I clicked outside the spyglass. You gotta click, like, the circle to look in it. GG. Okay, you gotta stop doing that. <laughs> as long as I make sure I click firmly inside the, this thing, we won't have any problems. Okay. It's 135 degrees. I see it. Search in the front. A ship can be divided into fore and aft, port and starboard. I know. Wait. Okay, yeah. So go back to the wrecked part of the ship. Like, you know how we went down to the captain's cabin kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the front of the ship. Uh -huh. Is that a box there? I can't I go there, though. All I can use this. Well, you're in the front. I guess. Use your clue thing, man. Akinari's bedroom? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What? Stairway to the front of the ship? Why didn't I see this stairway before? What? This is the stairway from the front of the ship. Turn around. That's the front of the ship, that's the stairway right there, to Akinar's bedroom, which is downstairs. You just go down there. It's literally telling us what to do. I don't even want to click that anymore. Yeah. It's like, okay, we're in Spookman's bedroom. Okay. So we know Akinar is spooky crazy day. Gotcha. Yeah, that's probably why the guy suspects him of destroying all the books. That's what he said, right? He suspects Akinar? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we got that. Because you have to like go to the area we're having problems with, which is dark, spooky boat, and then hit the note thing. Okay, well, yeah. let's take a look at these maps. Is there anything significant about them? Like, I don't recognize that one or that one. I don't recognize that. They look like real world maps put into the game. I don't recognize that. That's literally what they're talking about. So we've seen it. It's it. Yeah, it's just gonna tell you a hint about this location. Hey. 
Yeah. The hints are trolling us now. They're yeah. not even hints. Why are we using the hints? I don't understand. Go to the compass. Yeah, in the crawl space there. It really wants us to go into Akinar's bedroom. We went in Akinar's bedroom. There was nothing there. There was nothing we could find. You want me to pump that out? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It really wants us to go to act. Yeah, which we've done. Let's just follow it for now, I guess, and humor it. Alright, let's pump this thing. Nothing else in this room. Let's see what it says. Pick up a page, maybe, and then hit it. Maybe it'll refresh your quest objective, kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a thing in the middle. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, okay. There's the compass, yeah, okay. So let's go there. You maybe you just had to pick up the page to let it know like you do. <laughs> okay. The thing's closed all of a sudden? Like we just opened this. Alright. Let's go through here. Yeah, I, I can. Mm -hmm. Set the compass to that. How do we set the compass? Because I don't want to click the buttons. <laughs> Because we know the buttons blow shit. Didn't up. we try clicking the buttons too? Like, we haven't tried clicking it since we have cutscene patterns. But that's what I said. Because remember, I'm like, look, how did 30 this? We decided no, because it was. Well, have they're the all, they're all in 10 degree increments. Yeah. The power just ran out. I didn't actually click anything. Yeah, I know. Well, we'll just carry this page around with us. Yep. While we herp the derp. Because apparently there's nothing else to do around here. Alright. You know what? We need some energizer rabbits. Yeah. Should have ripped off the windmill from uh, the forest place, brought it here, hooked it up to that to constantly paint this. <laughs> Good enough. If he built a windmill in another spot, why didn't he just build another windmill here? Or is there no wind? Doesn't look like wind. That makes sense. Alright. 
All right. Whoa. Wait. What? I got turned around. Now the underwater lights are on. Yeah. That's what we went to do the last time. I know. We 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 did that. We we clicked. We found where the lighthouse was, 135 degrees, and then we counted the buttons. I they went in increments of 10. I so it's like, is it 140 or 130? I swear we tried both of those but Like, I swear we clicked the button that we just Probably because we couldn't get a cutscene. It might have been part of the glitch. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe it's because we weren't holding a page when we tried it. That might be the reason why. So... Now you gotta pump it out. Because I know we tried that. We, were, we, we looked at the light. We, we solved these puzzles! Yeah. Just without the hints. I even said, I'm like, I think you have to hit it. It like shoots the electricity to an underwater lamp or something. Oh, look at this. This place is nice. <laughs> so we couldn't click it in the dark. It needed the lights to be turned on for us to find them this place. For it to materialize in our dimension. Alright, let's get out of here. Return this red page. And then come back for the blue because we're greedy and like both pages. Yep. Only take one page, brother. No. No. We're taking all the pages. Where's the red book? Over here? Yes. There we go. Okay. Red page inserted in the red book. Have returned. I guess we probably have to collect the rest of the pages for that to be like a complete message. Alright. Then there's the blue one there. Actually, yeah, because we, we have collected one blue page, so let's take a look at this one too. He returned! He wouldn't return. pages <laughs> rescue me. <laughs> Alright, so they're trapped in the box. Or we have to rewrite them into existence with the pages. That appears to be the goal. Alright, oh, you wanna go grab that other blue page? Yeah, let's then? go get that blue page. Alright. Back to stone ship, age. <coughs> Alright, so the blue page was on the bed. Yep. So we're gonna need to... Uh, Crank the generator. Power up the lights, pump it out. Easy enough. Do we have to turn on the lights downstairs again? Probably. Give ourselves a little bit more time. Alright, it should be good. We know where we're going, we know what we're doing. Okay, that's, that's the light. <laughs> I can't remember which one our stairwell, not this one. So we'll just take a shortcut. And the lights are off again. Might as well, Might as well have the button while you're here. Didn't have to have a page, so... I don't know, maybe we clicked the wrong button, because... You know, when we were here before, because... Definitely, like it was something we uh, thought the lighthouse of. is at 135 degrees, so we're like, okay, let's click the button that corresponds to 135 degrees, and uh, yeah. And then we realized they went up by tens, and we were just kind of like, what the shit? Yeah. So it was a little confusing there, but I'm sure we tried both of the buttons that would have been on either side. 
Uh, let's pump out the ship. throw this into the blue book and then maybe see the updated message I'm getting. Never ending. Well, like, Akinar's is serious, put him in here, in the blue book. What serious is going on about, like, how much of a dick Akinar is? Akinar's stuff has been found, though, with, like, crazy voodoo death stuff everywhere. Yeah. What serious has been found, like, Akinar's room. Sirius had the black ship flags, though. Yeah, that's true. So he's, like, sailing the seas, pillaging people. But like, Sirius had the skull, or not the skull, the full face of a person in the chest. Alright, well I think this is a good time to save our game. And then we're going to take like another short break for like one minute, two minutes maybe. And then we'll be back to... Figure out what's going on, now that we have cutscene powers. Cutscene powers, yeah I know, we solved the stone ship world in like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we use the hints, but 
It was all the, the stuff hint, we already knew. The hints just told us what we solved like, before. Did you find literally. everything? It's like, yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the miss book? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, how do we turn on the lights? We knew it was over there. We just need to turn the lights. Yeah. And we know there's this compass thing that we can press buttons on. Yeah. All right, so we'll be back in like one minute. In the meantime, enjoy the music.